So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about illustrate quadratic function. A quadratic function in a general form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. y, it is also equal to f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. It shows the polynomial equation with degree of 2. So the highest degree of the quadratic function is 2. Where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. Which of the followings are quadratic functions from 1 to 5? First, you need to identify the highest degree if that is quadratic. Second, let us identify if the given is a function. So, hanapin natin yung y or f of x. In example number 1, y equals 7x squared plus 5. So, the highest degree is 2. So, this is quadratic. And meron tayong y. So, it means this is quadratic function. How about number 2? 9x, it is equal to 8 minus y. So, hanapin natin yung highest degree. So, the highest degree is only 1. So, it means this is not quadratic function. How about number 2? y minus 2x, it is equal to 9x squared. Highest degree is 2. So, this is quadratic. And hanapin natin yung y, that is quadratic function. How about number 4? 11 minus 6x squared, it is equal to 5 minus y. So, the highest degree is x squared. So, it means negative 6x squared, is, it is quadratic. Hanapin natin yung y. So, it means this is quadratic function. How about number 5? Hanapin natin yung highest degree. So, meron tayong highest degree, that is x squared. Meron din tayong highest degree dito, that is x squared. But then, if we combine, mawawala yung x squared. Kasi y, it is equal to 9x squared minus 9x squared. So, magiging 0. So, matitira na lang ay 7x. So, it means the highest degree of this given is only 1. So, number 5, that is not quadratic function. In example number 1, let us transform into quadratic function y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Afterwards, let us identify now the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c. In example number 1, y minus 3x squared equals 7x minus 4. So we need to write this one into y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So bring down y equals... Negative 3x squared, hindi natin siya bring down, going to the right side, change the sign. Positive 7x, bring down. Negative 4, bring down. So we have now the quadratic function. So we can easily identify now the value of a, b, and c. The value of a, that is the numerical coefficient of x squared, that is 3. The value of b, that is the numerical coefficient of x, that is 7. And then C, that could be the constant. So the value of A is 3, B is 7, and then C equals negative 4. How about number 2? Y minus 3, it is equal to 4X minus 3X squared. So let us arrange. First, we need to write Y, so bring down. And then afterwards, negative 3X squared is on the right side, so bring down. Positive 4x, bring down. So as you can see, we arrange from highest exponent up to the lowest exponent. Negative 3, going to the right side, so positive 3. So right now, we can identify now the value of a, b, and c. The value of a, that is the numerical coefficient of x squared, that is negative 3. The value of b, that is the numerical coefficient of x, that is 4. And then the constant, that is equal to 3. A equals negative 3, B equals 4, and then C equals positive 3. How about example number 3? 
13, it is equal to negative y plus 2x squared. So negative y is on the right side. So let us proceed to the left side. So negative y change the sign that becomes positive y equals. 2x squared is on the right side. So bring down. Positive 13 is on the left going to the right side. So that becomes negative 13. Right now, we can identify now the value of a, b, and c. A, that is the numerical coefficient of x squared, that is 2. While b, that is the numerical coefficient of x. So, while I'm x, so b equals 0. And then the constant, that is equal to negative 13. So, a equals 2, b equals 0, and c equals negative 13. How about example number 4? y equals to the quantity x plus 3 times x minus 4. First, bring down y and then let us multiply using the FOIL method. So first, x times x is x squared. Outer, x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Inner, so 3 times x, that is positive 3x. And then the last, 3 times negative 4, that is negative 12. We combine now negative 4x and then 3x. So copy, copy, negative 4 plus 3, subtract, that is negative x, and then copy, negative 12. Right now, we can identify now the value of a, b, and c. The value of a, that is the numerical coefficient of x squared, that is 1. The value of b, that is the numerical coefficient of x, that is negative 1. And then the constant for the value of C, that is negative 12. A equals 1, B equals negative 1, and then C equals negative 12. How about number 5? X times X minus 3 plus Y equals 0. So let us distribute the parentheses. X times X, that is X squared. X times negative 3, that is negative 3X. Bring down Y equals 0. So right now, we can arrange into y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Bring down y equals positive x squared going to the right side, change the sign. Negative 3 going to the right side, change the sign. So that becomes positive. So we can identify now the value of a. So a, that is the numerical coefficient of x squared, that is negative 1. b, that is the numerical coefficient of x, that is 3. And then the constant, so walang constant, that is considered as 0. A negative 1, B 3, and then C equals 0. Instruction. Transform into quadratic function Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. Give the value of A, B, and C. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.